Hello everyone. Welcome back to Mad About Designs. In this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to design this generated rotor or GE rotor using Autodesk Fusion 360. This assembly is consisting of the inner rotor and the outer rotor. Here our inner rotor has 8 number of teeth and outer rotor has 9 number of teeth. So for 45 degree rotation of our inner rotor, our outside rotor will rotate 40 degree. Here are the dimensions of the rotor. If you guys are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos. And if you have any suggestions and recommendations, please let me know in the comment section. Now without wasting time, let's get into it. First create a new design by going to files, select new design. The unit we're gonna use in this tutorial is centimeter. Create a new component and give it a name inside rotor. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on this bottom plane. Go to center dia circle, select the center horizontally aligned with the origin at any distance of diameter 4 cm. Under constraint, go to horizontal or vertical, select the origin and the center of the circle so they will be horizontally aligned. Now under create, go to sketch dimension, select the origin and the center and give a horizontal distance of 10 cm. Now under create, go to circular pattern. For the object, select this circle and for the center point, select this origin. Number of items, 8. Click OK. Now under create, go to arc and select 3 point arc. Select the first point on this circle and the second point on this one. Give it any radius. Now under constraint, go to tangent. Select the circle and the arc so they will be tangent to each other. Repeat the same here. Now we need to provide a radius to this arc. Press D to go to sketch dimension command, select this arc and give it a radius of 4.5 cm. Under create, go to circular pattern again. For the object, select this arc and for the center point, select the origin. Number of items 8 and click OK. Under modify, go to trim. Now trim out these unnecessary portions of the circles as follows. Go to center dia circle again. Select the center as the origin and give it a dia of 6 cm. Finish sketch. Here is the sketch of our inside rotor. Now go to extrude command. Select this profile and extrude it upward up to 8 cm. Press enter. Here is our inside rotor ready. Go back to our main assembly. Create a new component and give it a name outer rotor. Keep it active and click OK. Create a new sketch on this bottom plane. Under create, go to project, selection filter bodies and turn on projection link. Select this inside rotor and click OK. Hide the inside rotor. Here is the projected sketch. Now go to center dia circle, select the center as the origin. 
and draw a circle of 6 cm. Now go to two point circle, select the first point as the origin and give it a dia of 2 cm. Go to center dia circle again, select the center as this one and give it a dia of 4 cm as follows. Now hide the projected geometry by going here. Under create go to circular pattern, select the object as this circle and for the center select this one not the origin. Number of items 9 as we want 9 number of teeth for the outer rotor. Under create go to 3 point arc, show the projected geometry, select the first point here and the second point here, give it any radius, hide the projected geometry, go to sketch dimension, select this arc and give it a radius of 4.5 cm. Now drag this arc up to this much. Under constraint, go to tangent, select the arc and the circle. So they will be tangent to each other. Repeat the same here. Now under create, go to circular pattern. For the object, select the arc and as the center point, select this one. Number of items, 9, press enter. Now go to center dia circle, select the center as this point and give it a diameter of 38 cm. Finish sketch. Go to extrude command, select this outer profile. Drag it upward up to a distance of minus 8 cm or in your case it may be 8 cm. It sometimes vary. Click OK. Go back to our main assembly. Here is both of our rotor ready. Now they are not joined together. As you can see, they are free to move. Before assigning any joints in between them, we need to make two axes. So create a new sketch on the bottom plane. Press C to go to center dia circle. Draw a circle from the origin of diameter 6 cm and another 2 point circle from the origin of diameter 2 cm as follows. Height both the rotor. Go to extrude command, select this inner circle and extrude it upward up to minus 8 cm. Turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Go to extrude again, this time select both of these profiles, extrude them upward up to minus 8 cm. Change the operation to new body. Click OK. Here under the main assembly we have both of our bodies ready. So right click on bodies and click on create components from bodies. So both of our bodies will be converted into components and here they are. Show inside and outer rotor. Hide the sketches. Now, before assigning any joints in between them, we need to ground the axis. So right click and ground it. Repeat the same for the next one. Now you can see they can't move, whereas our rotors are free to move. Now under assembly, go to as built joint. 
for the component 1 select the inside rotor and for the component 2 select this bigger axis motion type revolute and for position select the center of this axis here is our rotor rotating properly so click ok we're gonna repeat the same step for our outer rotor so right click and repeat as built joint for components select the outer rotor and this inside axis motion revolute and for the position select the center of the circle here is our rotor rotating properly click ok hide the joints and the axis too now if we rotate the outer rotor you can see they are overlapping on each other and not rotating respective to each other in order to make them move properly let us first enable all contact after applying this we can see none of our rotor is rotating ctrl z to undo this action now under assembly go to motion study we have to select the joints between whom we can apply relation so first select revolve one go to 100 step and assign an angle of 45 degree press enter now double click on revolve 2 to add this in the motion study at 100 step assign an angle of 40 degree so 45 degree of rotation of our inner rotor our outer rotor will rotate 40 degree because the inner rotor has 8 number of teeth and the outer has 9 number of teeth if we divide 360 degree by 8 we will find 45 degree and if we divide 360 degree by 9 we will get 40 degree turn on loop and play here you can see both of our rotors are rotating in respect to each other and they are not overlapping Click OK. Revert back to original position. Now under modify, go to fillet, type rule fillet. Select these faces and give a radius of 0.25 cm. Press A to go to appearance. I'm going to apply the paint metallic yellow and white color on them. Now go to motion study, right click and edit. Increase the speed little bit, turn on the loop option and play. Here is our GE rotor ready. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial. Till then keep designing and design whatever you love. Bye bye.